what is the difference in the way that fees are structured between an accident case and a family law case? My name is Laura D. Hurd, and I've been practicing family law in San Antonio and surrounding counties since 1987. And people will often see on TV a, an accident lawyer, a personal injury lawyer, who is advertising that they don't get paid anything unless they win. And the reason is because they're doing something called a contingency fee basis. That means they take a percentage of what you win at the end of the case. And they can do that because they know that you're going to get paid something and it will be paid by the insurance company. And at the end of the case, you're going to get more property than what you owned at the beginning of the case. You're going to get property that you never had before from the, the settlement of this lawsuit. In a family law case, however, if it's a custody case, it has nothing to do with property. If it's a divorce case, we're dividing up the property that the two spouses already owned. You're not going to end up with more assets than the two of you already owned before the case started. There are rules of professional responsibility that lawyers are bound to follow, and these rules of conduct say that family law attorneys are rarely, if ever, justified in charging a contingency fee basis for a divorce or a family law case. Therefore, I don't know any family law attorneys who will accept a case on contingency fee basis for a family law matter.